Now let's take a closer look at the Excel user interface as you learn how to create and manage your own workbooks. Excel's ribbon interface is a great place to start as it contains a huge amount of Excel's features and functionality. Excel's commands are found on the ribbon and split into groups. Each group is identified with a name and the active tab is underlined to differentiate it from the others. By default, Microsoft Excel has eight tabs, excluding the file menu. Those tabs are Home, here you perform basic formatting and editing tasks. Insert enables you to add objects and filters to the workbook. Page layout, here you can change the overall appearance of the workbook. Formulas, find, insert and manage formulas and functions in your workbook. Data, enables you to manage and organize the data within your workbook. Review, allows you to check your workbook for spelling errors, add comments and manage how changes are handled. View, here you can change how you're reviewing your workbook and work with macros, and help, where you can access Microsoft's built-in help features. Excel also features contextual tabs. These are special tabs that only appear when you are working with a specific object or group of information. For example, if you select a table, the table design contextual tab will be shown. Some groups feature an option button beside the group name. Click the dialog box launcher button to open a dialog box with more specific controls relating to this group and other commands in the tab. The backstage view is where you have some general options and controls for the Excel application. The file tab opens a special screen called backstage view. Let's take a quick look at each item on the left hand side. New is where you can create a new blank workbook or choose from a number of available templates. Open a workbook from your OneDrive account, your computer, or any other location that you have access to. Info displays vital statistics about the current file. You're also able to modify read-write permissions, check for compatibility issues with other programs, manage versions of this file, and choose what users see if the current workbook is viewed on the web. Document properties are listed on the far right side. Save your workbook to update the current workbook with any changes made since it was last saved. If the file has not been saved, clicking this command will switch you to the Save As category. Save As enables you to choose whether to save the workbook to your OneDrive account, your computer, or any other location that you have access to, and choose from many available file types. Print is where you can preview and browse your workbook as it would look if it were printed. This is called Print Preview. It also provides commands to print the workbook and customize the printout. Share this workbook to the cloud or send this workbook to others via email. Export lets you save the workbook as a PDF or XPS file. It also provides a command to change the file type, which gives you access to many different formats. Publish your workbook to Power BI, an online data analysis service. Close the current workbook. Account enables you to modify your Microsoft account. Feedback is where you can provide feedback to Microsoft on features you like or dislike and submit suggestions for future versions of Excel. And Options lets you open the Excel Options dialog box, where you can change the general settings of your Excel application. To close Backstage View, click the back arrow at the top of the menu. Excel offers support for a variety of data types that can be entered into worksheets. These include labels, which can be any alphanumeric text, values, which are numbers that you can use to perform functions and data analysis, dates and times, which express the date, the time, or both. Using the correct data type will facilitate data analysis and ensure that you can use appropriate features like pivot tables and what-if analysis. Microsoft Excel uses a file format known as the Microsoft Excel XML format. Despite this newer file format, Excel 365 is capable of reading files created from Excel 97 through to Excel 2016 and beyond. It is also capable of using other file types as well, including plain text, openoffice.org documents, and data output files. Whenever you save a new file in Excel, it is automatically saved in the Excel 365 file format. However, you can use the Save As command to open the related dialog box and choose a file type. This can be helpful if you're worried about compatibility with earlier versions of Microsoft Office. Click File, then Save As, or press F12 to open this dialog box.